Heidi here and it's Wednesday again. What are you reading? It's also winter here in the north part of Trondelag in La Vongade, and so it seemed very appropriate to introduce you to Jan Brett. She uses winter in a lot of her picture books and I have also dramatized her picture book, The Mitten, both myself and students who have been in my classes have tried dramatizing it in their own classes. So for those of you out there who have tried the mitten, if you have anything you want to add, please add it to the comment uh, bar on our Facebook page because it's nice to be able to share our ideas. So Jan Brett, I'm just going to show you some of the covers of her books and the winter scenes that she shows and then we'll talk a little bit about the mitten. Here is one where Cinderella is a chicken. Here is one called A Wild Christmas Reindeer. And you can see she brings in a lot of the Scandinavian looks. Sorry. Um, here is one called The Hat. And I want to talk to you a little bit about that in a second. Here is another one called Trouble with Trolls. Are you starting to see the Scandinavian influence? That's another reason I like her so well. And another one that she's written, Christmas Trolls. So it's a English author, an, uh, an English-speaking author, who ties in some of our Scandinavian traditions. The thing I like about her is she has a fantastic website, which we also will link here on this video, janbrett.com. Because she gives you all kinds of free things that you can use in your classroom. So from the book The Hat, you get pictures of all the different animals and you can just laminate them or cut them out and then the children can wear them around their necks and be the characters. You also see them in the mitten. And they're the same mm -hmm. illustrations that you find in the books themselves. So you get that connection between the illustrations in the book and the costume piece that the students are wearing. So let's just take a look at these two books, The Mitten and The Hat. The thing that is fun about The Mitten is that the animals find a mitten in the snow and they all try and climb into it. So it's a very simple story. It's very similar to other kinds of stories that we find. She also has a story going on in the border of the pictures so the story within the story also makes Jan Brett's work quite special. So you'll have to check it out. We do have these books available in the Nord University Library as well. Uh, we can talk a little bit more about them, but I'm going to wait until I hear from some of you out there who have tried the mitten in your own classrooms and get some feedback from you. And then we can uh, talk more about it in the future. Because I need to make time for tomorrow which happens to be Valentine's Day. And I know Stephen is working on Juicy Grammar tomorrow for Valentine's Day, but I, of course, here in our literature section, had to give you a book that would work for Valentine's Day. And this is also in the library here at Norwood. It's called My Heart is Like a Zoo. And it is by Michael Hall. He also has lots of activities online that you can find. So if you just look up My Heart is Like a Zoo and Michael Hall, you can find patterns on how to make all of these different animals using heart shapes. This is a very straightforward book um, using adjectives. My heart is like a zoo. And then eager as a beaver using metaphor. Steady as a yak. Hopeful as a hungry heron fishing for a snack. And you can see all of the animals are made up by only using heart shapes. So that's a fun thing to do to tie in literature with Valentine's Day and creativity and language. Silly as a seal, rugged as a moose, bothered as a bull with the hornet in its hair. Fun book, My Heart is Like a Zoo, Michael Hall. So check this out for Valentine's Day tomorrow and look up Jan Brett as an author who often uses winter as a setting and stay tuned, we'll talk more about her in the future. Thank you, and if you have any favorite books that you read, 
that have a winter setting, why don't you send in the title to us at cyberbridge at noor.no and we can share those with everyone because this is a bridge, a two-way street. We share with you what we're reading and you can share with us what you're reading. See you next week.